Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to play Kirby in the Forgotten Land on Yuzu Emulator. Now you don't need Yuzu Early Access for this. I am going to use it if you want to use it. Either get it from their Patreon or from the links down below or in my Discord server if you don't have the money for their Patreon. And then yeah, just download Yuzu from one of the links down below and get all the stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get right into how to set everything up. Now first, if the game file is a .zip or .rar, unzip it so it's a .xci, maybe a .nsp, depending on the size. Uh, I'll, I'll share the, the game size in a second. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is launch Yuzu. And from here, it will say the encryption keys are missing. This is normal. You can click on this link to get the start guide and keep it on another tab if this video isn't clear enough. Yeah, just press OK. Uh, on here, you can click yes or no. I'm going to click no. This is just to share data. Um, and in here, you're going to double click to add a new folder to the game list. So put your game in a folder on your desktop and select that exact folder. I'm going to do that right now. So for me, I have a folder called Yuzu Games and I select it and it will show up here. Tip, if you have game folders in folders, um, right click here and make sure scan subfolders is checked. Now, as you can see, my games are not showing up yet because the error told us we don't have the right keys to read the games. The way to fix that is you go to open Yuzu folder under file here and in here there'll be a keys folder. If not, uh, you can try restarting Yuzu or making a keys folder just like this. Now in the keys folder, this is where you put the prod keys file. Again, links down below or in my Discord server and you close out of this window. And before we make the game show up, let me get you through all the right settings so your emulator will actually play smooth. Okay, so we're going to emulation and configure. Now in here, keep all of this the same. If all of this works after I've shown you all the settings, try extended memory layout. It could help with some games actually. For the rest, if you want the dark colorful UI, it's under here, under general UI and then here, dark colorful. So if your user looks a little different, don't worry about it. Now under system, you don't really need to do anything um, for a Yuzu online tutorial. Check my video on that. Now under CPU, keep this on auto. If something doesn't work, you can try unsafe. Now under graphics, this is very important. First of all, Intel HD users or AMD Vega users, your hardware isn't the best. Uh, some newer ones can run Yuzu games, but it can get glitchy. Now for people with Nvidia graphics cards and AMD cards, choose Vulkan. If this doesn't work, you can always switch to OpenGL. If you have visual glitches, try that. And in here, device, make sure you have the right graphics card selected and make sure NVDEC emulation is on GPU video decoding. Now, if you have an Intel HD uh, GPU, try CPU video decoding if uh, GPU video decoding doesn't work. Now, resolution, if you have a graphics card with four gigabytes of VRAM or more, you can go 2x upscaling to 1440p or 4k. I don't have a 4k monitor or anything, but it looks sharper even without having a 4k monitor. So I recommend it if you can run it. Um, again, for people with less than four gigabytes of VRAM on their graphics card, don't do this. Uh, just try to run it on 1x first. Now, window adapting filter. Uh, I always choose nearest neighbor. You can keep it on bilinear as well. That is totally fine. And I'm going to turn this uh, anti-aliasing on FXAA. If we go to advanced settings, basically keep all of this the same. I'm going to turn on asynchronous shader building. Try turning it off if it doesn't work. It could be one of the things that breaks it. Uh, I'm going to keep this on automatic as well. And for audio here, you can choose your audio device if you're, you know, using multiple devices and you can change the volume here. Now under controls, make sure connect controller on the top here is on. I'm going to use a pro controller and if your controller doesn't show up, make sure to press the refresh button and I'm going to choose my Xbox One controller. Now it's already set up as you can see, um, but I don't like that they switch the buttons around. So yeah, I'm going to change that real quick. All right. So after you do this, you can make a new profile called, I don't know, profile and you can click OK and save. Console mode, make sure this is docked um, and vibration, you can turn it off, motion, you can turn it off. 
you can configure the vibration, etc. Just, uh, yeah, just try to do that. If you want multiple players, this is just how you connect more controllers. And this, for some reason, you can change the body, the, the body colors of the controllers, even though you don't have any. And yeah, for keyboard and mouse, check uh, some YouTube guide because I don't play keyboard and mouse, so sorry for those people. Um, but yeah, press OK, and basically we're all set. Make sure that GPU high is only on if you have a decent graphics card. Try GPU normal. If it works, try GPU high. If it works, then you're golden. Now I'm gonna close Yuzu because as we said at the start, we can't uh, see the games yet. So I'm gonna close and reopen Yuzu early access in my case. And as you can see, all my games are showing up and we're gonna play some Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now I can't show you any gameplay because Nintendo will claim the video, but I might try to show